All right, so just so you guys know, there is a Man Cave Tool Store. The link is in the description below. You can get a hat, shirt, hoodie, long sleeve shirts, mugs, stickers, and a whole assortment of stuff. So please like this video and subscribe to the channel. All right, so please go to Facebook and join the Ryobi Rebels Facebook group. It's an excellent group. It's all about Ryobi, and it's awesome. People upload every day, and it's a lot of it gets a lot of attention. We have over 8,000 members. All right, today what we are going to do, which I'm extremely excited about, we are going to unbox the Ryobi Compact HP Drill Driver Kit. So this kit comes with two 1.5 amp hour batteries, the drill bag, and a charger. So we're going to unbox this. Take a look at it and we're going to completely test this out to see what this could actually do with different types of batteries and we're also going to do a little versus video between the 1.5 lithium plus battery that's already out and compare it to the new one let's see if there's a difference in uh, performance all right so the model number for this kit i believe is psbdd01k so yeah so let's unbox this really quick and uh get to it I'm, I am excited to see this new bag. Of course, you get first instructions and warranty. Of course, Ryobi's a standard three-year warranty is a part of this. All right, so here is one battery. There we go. It has a, a fuel gauge. The battery is dead. I like that. This is the difference between the 1.5 and the other one. It's a little bit slimmer when it comes to how flat it is. It's a little bit slimmer. But yes, so the model number for the battery is PBP002. And so we're actually going to put that on charge right now. And it comes with, like I said, it comes with two of them. So we're going to put those in charge. That battery is dead as well. All right, but let's very quickly look at the actual design of the battery. All right, so that is what the bottom looks like. There is no rubber molding on the bottom, which I'm a little disappointed about. I liked the rubber molding on the bottom of Ryobi's batteries along with Milwaukee's. Because if you have rubber molding on the batteries, you could put your tool down on a surface without having to worry about scratches, especially if you're about to do final work on a project. You could put these tools anywhere because that rubber molding will protect the surface you're putting the tool on. And so, yeah, I do, I do like this, the, the new compact design of the battery. It's nice. Now, this does not say lithium plus on it. It's just 18 volt lithium. And as you can see on this older battery, it says lithium plus. And so, yeah, so we might actually need to do the versus video between the other black 1.5 amp hour battery instead. But we'll see. I have the batteries on fast charger, so they should charge up fast. All right, next is the bag. I like that bag. That's a nice bag. I like that. It's a much, I do wish, I do wish that they would have like a reinforced walls on these just so they're not as flimsy, which is nice. It's better than just the Ryobi. It says other stuff as well. All right, then the charger. The charger is... The charger is model number P118B, and it is, what's the specs on this? You could mount this to the wall. As you can see, it has two screws right there. P118, P118B, class two battery charger, 120 volts at 60 hertz at 60 watts. And so, yeah, what's the output? That's just the input, it doesn't say output. But yeah, it's the it's the charger that you get now nowadays. They don't they no longer have the bigger gray ones or the bigger uh, green ones. These ones are fast chargers. And then I thought I heard a like a belt clip or so. oh no, I don't think these had belt clips on them. All right, then last but not least is the tool. Wow, that is that is really really compact and unfortunately it was the photoshop in the previous video the housing for the chuck is plastic housing for the chuck is plastic yeah that is not metal 
but it does seem to have a nice metal chuck though uh, besides the housing like the the wall on here is actually pretty thick so yeah so to the two speed settings is actually not much it's actually very small like you don't have to push much uh you don't have to push far for it to go into speed too yeah like i said uh, in a previous video this is molded the ryobi is in the mold as you can see it's a 3d it's not it's no longer a sticker this is raised a raised 3d design and so i like it and like i said in the previous video it looks like that they are going with green and black which in my opinion is much better it is much better than green and gray i like the green and black it looks uh it looks a little bit more professional but yeah this thing this thing is awesome all right so the model number for this is psb dd 01 cn half inch chuck uh 22 point clutch plus 23 point clutch plus one it go uh, two speed settings zero to 450 and zero to on speed one and zero to 1700 on speed two it does not say the torque but i will uh, put the torque in right now and yes this is the back and yes this is also uh, like a raised 3d uh material uh, also raised 3d mold right here which is awesome that now the it, it looks seriously it does look really cool it really does i love the new design and i hope that they go in this direction from their tools from here on out i really really love the green and black i mean it looks really really good but looks is not everything we are going to test these out i have a regular uh lithium plus battery while those batteries charge motor's pretty quiet it's not motor doesn't seem too loud at speed one, at speed two, and so yeah, we are gonna put the we are gonna test the crap out of this and see how this could actually do. Well, I'm gonna do my normal hardcore test to see what the to see what the limits of this uh, is. Now there is a bell clip right there. Uh, I do not believe it came with one. I think I might have an extra one. And there we go. Now it has a bell clip. It would have been nice if they actually gave you a chrome one. For a quick size comparison, the Ryobi HP, uh, the Ryobi brushless drill driver. This is model number P252. This is the compar size comparison. That's majorly, majorly more compact. Majorly more compact. And so, yeah, please like this video, hit the bell button to be notified of future videos, and please subscribe to the channel. In the future, we are doing versus videos against these other tools. Now, once the other tools come out for the HP system, I'll also be doing versus videos for the Ryobi tools that I already got. So, versus video coming up in the future. Well, we are, remember when you work, wear gloves and safety glasses. I got mine right here. Alrighty, so we are gonna start off small. We're gonna see what this does on speed two, it's on drill. Battery is full. We are using the 3 amp hour HP compact battery, the P195. This battery has 21700 cells in it. So let's see what this thing can do. It, has a, it does have a ratcheting chuck, which is good. It's on, well, first we're going to try speed one. Let's see what this can do. All right, so, sorry, battery is full. All right, so ready? Go. Time. All right, let's try it on speed two. All right, so ready? Go. Up, oh, having trouble on speed two. All right, let's try it one more time. You know, before I, I'm going to let it, uh, let it run for like about 30 seconds before, because it's brand new, just in case. Alrighty, let's try it one more time. Go. Time. 
All right, that is the one inch spade bit by Bosch. Let's try the three quarter inch. Remember we're using a three amp hour battery. All right, so ready, go. It's through, it, it did it. Let's try that again. So ready, go. It's doing it. It's doing it. Let's do it again. Oh, stop. One more. It's, someone's grabbing it. Like it's being pulled down. Oh, that's capable of doing it. Let's give the nine amp hour, nine amp hour HP a try. Battery is full. Right here is good. All right, so ready, go. All righty, that is that. Those 1.5s are almost charged. I want to test out those 1.5s. All right, I'm just curious. Let's see if it, this is able to do a one and a half inch sp uh, spade bit on speed one. I love that ratcheting chuck. Oh, and uh, oh yeah, I'm sorry. I did not mention the LED light is on the bottom. Yeah, nothing special about it. It's just uh, different design the way that it, from what it used to be. And is, there is no bit holder on here either. All right, let's see if this can do a one and a half inch uh, spade bit on speed one. All right, so ready, go. Ooh, that, that came on. Let's try it again. Watch out for the wrists. It's through though. All right, we're gonna make one more hole of that. Spade bit on speed one. This, this is a hard task. This is a very hard task. All right, so ready, go. It's through. Very good. All right, temperature so far, 110 degrees, 114, 124, 104 on this side. So 100 and, if I can get it again. All right, so 122 on the top. 122 degrees on the top. All right, let's see if we could do a speed bore. I believe this is a one and a quarter inch speed bore. It might be one inch. I bought it a while ago. I do not remember what it was. All right, let's do a, 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 a one inch or one and a quarter inch speed bore. Speed one. All right, so ready, go. Like nothing, it did it. There we go. Let's do one more. Now remember, this is to do a torture test on this to see how well it holds up. All right, so ready, go. No problem. Let's see what how far it goes on speed two. Battery is at full, full bar still. Remember, I'm using the P195 battery. All righty, so let's go to speed two. Let's see what it can do. All right, so ready. Go. Nope. Not many, not many of these drills can do that on speed two, especially compact drills. The hammer drills uh, are pretty, the bigger brotherhood hammer drills are the ones that can do that on speed two. Alrighty, so let's see what this can do with a very used three inch hole dozer. Focus in on that. Ready? Go. Oop. Oh, I forgot. Sorry, I gotta ease it in.
time. All right, that is speed one. Yep, that is the wood that's smoking, not the tool. All right, let's uh, try that on speed two. Let's see if this is able to do it. All right, so ready, go. Sorry, ready, go. It's through. Perfect. And I'm investigating. I thought I thought smoke from the tool just came out, but it might be from the wood. I thought smoke was coming out of the tool, but it was the wood. I just like I said, I do wish that they did change the battery so this could be shorter. So just the base of it could be shorter. Because even Hilti, even Hilti's slide and base is huge. I mean, like, look at that base. You know, and it's a slide in, you know, uh, and so like even the Hilti base is huge. It's actually probably bigger. Yeah, it's bigger than Ryobi's. And this is the new brushless stuff. So like Hilti, the same thing. Hilti's a slider, but that base is just huge. Alrighty, so we have the 1.5 amp hour battery in there. The new one. Battery is full, so those uh, fuel bars are huge. All right, so let's see if the 1.5 amp hour battery is able to do a three quarter inch hole. I already did a video, I'll put it right here, where I did low amp hour batteries versus high amp hour batteries, and I proved that the lower amp hour batteries cannot do a single task like a four amp hour battery could. You know, like, so a four amp hour battery will outperform even on a single task, a 1.5 amp hour battery or two amp hour battery. But videos right there, check it out. Let's see a speed one. Let's see if a 1.5 amp hour battery can do a three quarter inch hole. All right, so ready, go. Time, speed two. All right, so ready, go. Yes, it can. It did it very well. Alrighty, so I think it is versus video. I think it's versus time. The lithium plus 1.5 with a fuel gauge versus the new 1.5. Alrighty, so we have two eight inch timber locks, two six inch specs, and two six inch lags. So let's see what this could do with those in place. Right, so right here is good. It's on speed two. Battery is still full. Ready? Go. Time. Not too shabby. That's with the new battery. Let's do the 1.5 older version. Right here is good. All right, so ready? Go. Time. See, that's that's a hard task, and it's doing it. It is doing it. All right, let's do the specs next. All right, so ready, go. Time. It, it did it. It's a compact HP Ryobi. Did it. Let's do with the. One older 1.5 I know that's getting old but to let people know so ready go time then the timber lock the newer version do it right here all right so ready go time Old battery. So ready, go. Time. 
All right, now what we're, we are gonna do is we are gonna take them all out at once on one timer. We are gonna start off with the timber lock since I have it on there already. All right, so ready, go. Then the specs. Hut, hut. You can do it. There we go. All right, it took three pulls of the trigger to get that out, but it did it. Nope, doesn't smell like a working tool. Doesn't smell like burn or burning at all. I did let this cool down because I took a, a little break because it is severely hot and humid in this specific garage. It's cooler outside, but in the garage it's hot. So I took a break, so this cooled down a little bit. Let's do a temperature reading, 109 degrees, 114. All right, so ready? Ready, go. Two, three, four. Okay, five times it failed. It requires speed one. All right, so that failed five times. It, then it, it requires speed one. All right, so let's uh, take this out. Let's start off with the lag first. Speed two, let's see if he's able to do it. Ready, go. One, two, three, four. All right, it requires speed one. All right, so ready, go. Up, speed two. Speed two. One, two. Three, four, nope, require speed one. All right, if I recall, the newer 1.5 was able to take that out on speed two. Put that back on speed two. Let's do the timber lock. Hopefully you can take it out. All right, so ready, go. Nope, speed one again. All right, so with the older version 1.5, speed one's required to take them all out. Time. Nope, smells like a regular working tool still. No overheating, no 103, 115 in a spot. So yeah, it's, uh, it's performing like a normal tool and it's severely compact. This little guy is awesome now. This is the this is one of the tools that they have in their compact uh, HP series. So this is available right now at the Home Depot. It's awesome, so it's, it's the website. Once again, the drill itself is model number BSBDD01CN. This actually impresses me. Now, now the only other compact series that I've used is the DeWalt Atomic. Now, when it comes to the size of these two, these are actually extremely extremely similar now i i will admit i think do i think ryobi took the design from the dewalt atomic and modified it a little bit which the the ryobi hp uh system looks a lot better than the atomic does but but yeah there are bare these two are extremely similar extremely similar and so yeah, all the way around, these two look all, almost identical. There's there's different uh, different designs here and there, but the base design I think is off of the Dewalt Atomic. But this this is, looks a lot better than the Atomic does. I, I love this thing. Now, like I said, I only wish that they changed the battery so the base isn't nearly as long uh, as that is. But it's all good though. And so yeah. So plenty of videos coming up. As soon as the other tools are available, I will be getting those. You know, the 3 8 inch impact wrench, the impact driver, the cutoff tool. And honestly, I'm not really that interested in like, getting the right angle uh, drill. But yeah, I will be getting the rest though. Like, uh, and, and these things are awesome. I, I love the design. I love the direction that Ryobi is going with black. I love it. I'm going to put the link for this in the, in the description below for the Home Depot, from the Home Depot website. 
And so, yeah, so if you found this video helpful, please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.